Okay, in this last set of slides, uh, we're going to look at a beta helper current mirror for BJTs. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a buffer transistor to reduce the current error that we see when we connect multiple uh, transistors to a single bias generator. Okay, now let's do the analysis. So first of all, let's look at the voltage analysis. In most of our bias generators, we set a voltage, uh, set a reference current through a reference resistor by knowing what the voltage is on two ends of the reference. Note that in this case, we actually have two VBE drops below the resistor. So I ref is equal to VDD minus two VBE divided by RF. Okay, now if we do KCL at the node between Q1 and Q1A, we get IR is equal to IC1 plus IB1A. Now, IB1A goes through the transistor and gets multiplied by uh, its beta plus one. And if we do KCL at this node, we see IB1A is equal to IB1 plus IB2 plus everything up to IBN divided by beta plus one. We can simplify this and say that this is IB1A is equal to N times IC1 over beta plus one divided by beta plus one, or sorry, times one divided by beta plus one. Okay, so let's make some substitutions. Okay, so now if we simplify this whole expression, we get I out is equal to I R, I ref, divided by one plus N divided by beta times beta plus one. What we've effectively done with this transistor is to make beta larger, and that's why they call this configuration a beta helper. And what you can see is that uh, we've basically made the Numer or the denominator term smaller for even large numbers of transistors connected to it. We use this if we're going to connect to multiple transistors to reduce the current error. We'll stop there for this lesson.